Hey everyone, me again. So, this is just a very quick video about a new feature that's been added that I don't know whether it's been advertised that much really, but it's actually quite useful. So, I've got this scene here, um, it's lit with an environment light, and she's sort of like Terminator crazy liquid metal bitch. Um, but she's quite noisy, so um, one thing you can do, I'm sure everyone knows, is you can jump in here and up your reflection samples and that will clear up the noise on the bits where she's sort of reflecting herself and maybe the ground plane um, because the environment light is causing the other reflections you need to up any of the background samples to 32 just to clean those up but one thing you can do now which gets around having to mess obviously I had that ticked when I <laughs> I had that ticked when I put that up to 32 that's why I wasn't cleaning up so that's using the global sampling um, what a great demo this is so that's using the global reflection samples and now it's really clean, that's really nice, great. Um, but if you've got some objects in your scene you don't need to increase the global reflection samples on. Um, I suppose we've gone a little bit backward in terms of we used to have sampling per material, but this is just quite nice because it's an option. So you can just tick this box. You've got one for refraction as well. And if I up this to 32, it will just be the model of this liquid metal lady that will get the increased samples, um, which is quite handy, really. I just thought I'd advertise the fact that we've got that in there now, and it's really useful. And that is it. Speak to you later. Bye.